Actually, I think there were 10 opponents in that primary race. I remember it well when you ran. Um, and there were quite a few opposition marks worked so hard to win that seat. Um, what, what's the function of the United States Senate? I think most people kind of, you know, we know there's three branches. Of course, my law students, we drilled that home about the three branches of government. Uh, this, uh, the Congress, the executive branch, judicial branch. Um, but I'm not sure people, a lot of people understand the function of the United States Senate. According to the uh, Founding Fathers, when they uh, designed the Senate, uh, they uh, designed it as George Washington called it. He compared the House of Representatives to uh, a teacup where all the hot uh, water of uh, public opinion hit the government right away. And he uh, described the Senate as the sausage saucer, where uh, things cooled down a bit with people having a six-year term instead of a two-year term like congressmen. I would say right now uh, that is exactly reflected in the current Senate. In the age of 24-hour uh, campaigns, uh, I would say uh, right now anything that's hot is uh, uh, going to be front and center of the, uh, represent in the uh, agenda of the uh, House of Representatives because they are all up for election every other year. In my case as a congressman, I was in one of those rare districts where uh, I could uh, lose at any time. Most districts are uh, pretty safe for one party or the other. It's uh, really good to have a politician on the edge. It makes you work harder. I would say that the, the uh, Founding Fathers' vision for a government that responded to the will of the American people was ex extremely brilliant. In the case of the Senate, we tend to be more uh, deliberative and, and uh, conservative uh, of uh, everything. If you have, uh, in my case, for the current uh, mood of the uh, country, I am not up for election in this coming election that we're hearing so much about. I have two and a half years to go. That considerably uh, uh, lowers your uh, temperature, just like most, uh, most uh, senators. What's it like to be a U.S. senator? It's an unbelievable job. In my case, I get to uh, I get to uh, represent the state of Illinois. In that, I've uh, tried to uh, since my stroke to take a new tech. That uh, my job is to be the top salesman for the state, to be the most proud of the state, to overcome all the anti-Illinois jokes that we used to have after Bogoyevich, to uh, be the number one uh, supporter of the state, to. In, in, in short, I would say, to make Illinois cool again. <laughs> in that sense, I'm constantly uh, talking to get people's spirits up about this state, to remind us of who we are, to uh, emphasize the economic strengths of our state. Of our state. Do you need, do you need to come? Uh, that, that's the short answer. <laughs> What's your favorite part of being in the United States Senate? The favorite part is, uh, you know, <clears throat> Margaret Thatcher uh, uh, talked about the constant human need to understand why are we here to uh, make a difference. I would say, for those of you who are, raise your hand if you've ever thought of public office. For those of you who have ever thought of uh, public service. This is, so this is the part where the whole audience is supposed to raise their hand. <laughs> In, in the case, I, there's a secret that I would give you. Uh, for public servants, we have the best time looking at ourselves in the mirror. Uh, you can answer the question, how did I make a difference uh, easiest than uh, most other people? In my case, when I decided to run for the house, I decided to uh, save a veterans hospital in North Chicago, Illinois. After 10 years of patient work, I saved it. It's now probably the uh, best VA in the country to give back to my fellow veterans was the uh, biggest achievement of my time in the house. Absolutely. And uh, are there some legislation uh, things that you're working on now, Mark, that uh, you want to share with the students? There is one bill that I'm working on and that I'm pretty excited about. I think our country should uh, enact policies which change our culture to uh, have uh, Americans save more and more for the future. 
I'm worried that uh, right now Americans don't save as much as the Chinese. That uh, creates an investment uh, pool of uh, money that really accelerates the uh, Chinese economy. In the case of this legislation that I'm working on, I would like every uh, new mom or dad in the country to be eligible uh, to create a uh, what I call a 401 kids account in the name of your new son or daughter, tax deferred savings for college in the name of the child. In the, in the case of a 401 kids account, my hope it, it, it is uh, the statement would come in with your son or daughter's name right at the top. Nothing would be a better pet pedagogical tool. Uh, if you, you could sit down and say, hey Robin, this is how much we put in stocks. This is how much we put in bonds. You can see what you did over how much you got over the year. That pedagogical tool would uh, teach Robin as, at a very young age about uh, what a uh, lifetime of discipline, savings, and investing would be like. She would see the uh, brokerage statement, uh, the bank statement uh, throughout her childhood, and it would be safe to her. And she would uh, understand the process well. Hopefully, she would continue it for the rest of her life. I would like to get that uh, started. If your uh, family uh, works like mine does, which is 100% on guilt, uh, <laughs> the, uh, the uh, goal that I would have is, uh, and as you guys are all probably on Facebook, you know how Facebook guilts you into never forgetting the birthdays of your friends. <laughs> and that I would like to work with Facebook and uh, say uh, that uh, for everybody, everybody who is your Facebook friend, I would say, uh, Robin Kirk's birthday is uh, October 13th. Your uh, tax deferred contribution to her 401 kids account can go to this account. And so the entire extended family could kick in.